we are continuing our worship series called The Blessed Life here at Mount Tabor. We're studying the Beatitudes, those blessed statements in the Sermon on the Mount as found in Matthew chapter 5. This week we're looking at verse 8 where Jesus said, Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. As our pastors discussed in their Sunday sermons, the heart was generally known to mean the core of your being, the center of your spiritual life. And being pure in heart would mean seeking God and his ways with your whole being, from the very core of your being. We can choose moment by moment to have a pure heart, single-heartedly pursuing a life with God. Or we can choose to have an impure heart, a divided heart, pursuing our own way or our own kingdom. So Jesus says the pure in heart will see God, early followers of Christ, would have marveled at that statement. No one could see God and live. God is absolutely pure and holy and cannot be in the presence of something not pure and holy, which is us. So how could anyone be pure enough of heart at the core of their being to see God? Now you and I know through our post-resurrection lens that Jesus alone makes us pure in heart and that because of him, we will see God, but not just at the end of this life. Jesus came to bring God's kingdom to earth. When our hearts choose to seek after God, we will see him even in the here and now. When we pursue God with our whole hearts, we can't help but see him everywhere. In the beauty of his creation, in the forgiveness of a friend, in the kindness of a stranger, in the soul stirring of a hymn, in the arms of a loved one. It's in Jeremiah 29, 13 that God says, you will seek me and find me when you seek me with your whole heart. We can choose to do that. And we can trust that while we aren't perfect at being pure in heart because of Jesus, we don't have to be. And so nothing can stop us. Nothing can stop us from choosing today to pursue God, to seek God, to chase after God with our whole heart, knowing that when we do, he will open our eyes and allow us to see him and see his marvelous hand at work in the here and now.